Hello everyone. It's really good to see you all. Today we're going to be having a look at some art. Some artwork of animals. Can you see this artwork here? It's of a squirrel. He has a very large tail. And the artist has used this bright orange colour with lots of black stripes. Squirrels aren't normally this colour. But when you're doing an artwork, you can use any colour that you like. The artist could have even made this squirrel pink or green. It doesn't matter because it's an artwork. I have some pictures of some more animals in art here in one of my art books. Can you see this painting? This is by a man called Franz Mark and he loved to paint animals but in lots of different colours. Look at this yellow cow, he looks so, she looks so happy. And look, behind her is an orange cow. And right at the back here, I think that might be a bull, a big green bull. So many happy colours in this painting. This is another painting he did. And it's called Blue Horse. Have you ever seen a blue horse? No. But in an artwork, you can have a blue horse. This blue horse painting reminded me of a painting in a book by Eric Carle. He did a blue horse as well. Let's have a look at his blue horse. There it is. It's a blue, green and purple horse. And he did another animal in here too, an unusual colour. Look, it's a purple cat. That gives me an idea for some artwork. Would you like to do an artwork with me? Put the books away. And I'll get my painting apron on. think I'm going to paint a cat today. Not a purple cat. I'm going to use a different colour. I've made a cat shape from an old box and I'm going to press it on to my paper. Got some paints here. I think I'm going to make a yellow cat today. Put some on my palette. Get my brush. Bit of water. Let's make a yellow cat. Press my stencil down. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Just like Franz Mark's yellow cow, but mine's going to be a yellow cat. Yellow, yellow, yellow. There we are. Take the stencil off very carefully. Oh, can you see the yellow cat? There it is. I'll have to put this one up to dry. Pop it up there to dry. I did one earlier, so I'd have a dry one to show you what the next step is. So there's my dry yellow cat. And we're going to use our stencil again, but this time I'm going to change it a little bit so it's in a different position. 
a little bit off to the side. I think I'll use some red paint this time. And I'm not going to use a brush this time. I'm going to use this sponge. Put the lid back on. Get the red. Sponge, sponge, sponge. And we'll put it over the top of the stencil and some of the yellow paint that we've already painted. There we go. Some red over the top of the yellow. Take the stencil off. Ooh. There's another cat shape there on the edge. Pop it up to dry. Now I think this cat might look good against a blue background. So one more painting. I'm going to use my brush again and I'm going to use some blue this time onto the palette. Lots of blue. Might just have to wash my brush, dry it on the towel. Always good to have an old towel around when you're painting. Oh, it's a bit dry. Need some water in this blue. And then I'm going to paint a blue background. But you can use whatever colours you like. You might like to make a green background or a purple background or a black background. A little bit more water. Going to have to paint this paper all over so it's all blue. Might just move the peg. There we go. All finished. Pop it up here to dry with my other paintings. Ah. While we're waiting for our paintings to dry, I thought we might read a story today about a painting. This one, I think. Let's go. Time for a story. I might just get rid of my painting apron. There we are. Get my glasses. And the story today is called Mrs. Millie's Painting by Matt Otley. Mrs. Millie lived with her very best friend Socrates on the top floor of an old building. There she is. And look, Socrates is a cat. Mrs. Millie loved flowers. She often told Socrates about the beautiful garden she had played in when she was a little girl. But now she had no garden. Instead, she grew geraniums in pots by the window and painted wild, beautiful pictures of exotic flowers. Every year, Mrs. Millie entered her geraniums in the flower show, but no one took much notice. Once she heard Mrs. Compost say, I don't know why Mrs. Millie bothers. Her geraniums are pathetic. That wasn't very kind, was it? Mrs. Millie 
pretended she didn't care. But that year she felt too ashamed of her geraniums to enter the show. Instead, she stayed at home and began a new painting. Socrates tried to help. Oh dear, can you see he's knocked the water over and he's spilt the paint. Clever cat, said Mrs Millie, but you mustn't. And she gave him a bath. That night, while Mrs Millie and Socrates slept, something wonderful began to happen. Can you see something happening coming out of the painting? Goodness me, said Mrs Millie in the morning. Look, a big plant's grown up in the middle of the night. And look, there's Socrates in his basket. After breakfast, she packed a picnic basket and her paint box. How very exciting, she said to Socrates. Let's go exploring. Look, that plant is so big that it's even taken one of Mrs Millie's chairs. The two friends climbed higher and higher into the morning sun. Goodness me, said Mrs Millie as she climbed through a fragrant valley carpeted with the very same flowers she had painted over the years. Distant music beckoned the explorers on. How wonderful, exclaimed Mrs Millie, as they came across golden trumpet lilies, magenta flute tulips, and mysterious bassoon-like plants, all tooting and blowing. Look, this one looks like a harp. Just as the symphony finished, Socrates sneezed. A most mysterious perfume had drifted into the valley and filled the air. Mmm, said Mrs Millie. Let's follow our noses, Socrates. Can you see this butterfly over here? It's a rather strange looking butterfly. Soon they came to a tumbling waterfall. Socrates helped Mrs Millie cut down a giant leaf and together they floated away down a stream that wound through dark tangled growth. Stay close to me dear, said Mrs Millie. Can you see they've used the leaf like a little boat? Eventually they drifted into a quiet sunny pool. From the most extraordinary flowers Mrs Millie had ever seen came the wonderful perfume. Look Socrates, cried Mrs Millie, the flowers are growing from my paintings. While Mrs Millie was swimming, she had a brilliant idea. Before leaving the pool, the two friends collected a huge bunch of the beautiful flowers and made their way back through the valley. They arrived home at dusk as the air was filling with fireflies. Mrs Millie stayed up half the night arranging her flowers. Early the next morning she rushed down to the flower show just in time to make a late entry. Everybody cheered as Mrs Millie was awarded first prize. Mrs Compost was speechless. Look, 
those magnificent exotic flowers. That night, while Mrs. Millie and Socrates dreamed of their triumph, something wonderful began to happen. That plant's growing again. <gasps> Goodness me, said Mrs. Millie when she looked out of her window the next morning. We'd better buy a bigger watering can, Socrates. Look, all the plants and the flowers have grown all over the neighbourhood. Look, and there's Mrs Millie and Socrates still doing their lovely paintings. And that's the end of the story. I like that story about Mrs Millie and her cat Socrates doing their lovely paintings. I wonder if our paintings dry yet. Our cat painting. Let's go and see. Well, we've got our yellow and red cat that we made, all nice and dry now. I'm going to stick it on our blue background that we painted. I've got some other cats here as well. I've got a blue and red cat on an orange background, a green background, and this one's on a yellow background. But this is going to be the one we painted on the blue background. So, I'll just get my scissors and cut it out around the ears and then we're going to paste it onto the blue background. Very careful. There. A yellow cat. Let's get the glue. Put some on the back. Don't forget those ears. And then stick it onto our blue background. There, a yellow and red cat on a blue background. Needs a face though. Get my pen, two eyes, one, two, triangle nose, and then a smile. Oh, something's missing. These cats have all got whiskers. Let's give our yellow cat some whiskers. I've got some black paint here. I'm just going to use the edge of a piece of cardboard, dip it in the black paint. One, two, three whiskers on that side. And one, two, three whiskers on that side. Artwork, all finished. Four different colored cats on four different colored backgrounds. That was a lot of fun. Maybe you could do some art at home. Maybe you could look up Franz Mark and see some of the other paintings that he did of other animals and what colors he did those other animals. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you later. Bye.